Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is my 2020 Chugach Range Doll Sheep Hunt. I had no intentions of making a video out of uh, this hunt. It was, uh, ended up being a solo hunt and I finally decided after I got done uh, that I was going to put together what I had and figured I would share it anyway. It's a great time to smash that like button and hit the subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos coming up. I've got more hunts coming. Casey and I got flown in the first day and there were bears everywhere and we got camp set up and got everything situated. So this is our base camp. Been hanging out here a couple times. Spiked out. Not up that drainage, just the low country country around base camp. We went up over that pass, the glacier there, over that, down the other side all the way to the next glacier. Just around camp here. Pretty mild mountain there, but this one here is a rough one. Goats up there with no sheep. I had a partner on this hunt in the beginning, uh, the first five days. We spotted a ram up there behind me. And he was in a bad spot. Uh, I think he was barely legal, if he was legal. But there were some big cliffs below him. There was no way to get him killed, uh, even if he was legal. So we decided to pass him up. It was a beautiful ram. This was the first time that I had been on a glacier and I'll tell you that they are a little spooky. They had holes like this covered in snow and you just never knew whether uh, you were going to step on something solid or whether you were going to go out of sight. Uh, so it was a little nerve wracking. We were way up on top of the glacier, up on a pass, and we ran into this black bear. We were just wondering what in the world he was doing up there, but he was on top of the world.
we spotted this ram and it was just just good for photography only he was nowhere near legal but uh, kept the hopes up by, by at least seeing something winds blowing which makes the glacier melt faster if there was a sheep on the other side wouldn't be able to get him anyway he ain't crossing that crossed over the glacier Yesterday, come back over. It's got holes in it, drain was well, draining and melting, and then sinkholes that are covered with snow. If you step on them, you go out of sight. Actually, pretty dangerous. Kind of glad to be off of it. There is a there's a ram around the back side of there. We saw him. We come up through the pass, we saw him all the way on the back side, up over the top of that. In such a horrible position, I didn't think we could get him killed without him exploding, falling off the, flick, the cliffs and stuff, so I decided to let him go. We flew back out and flew over some amazing country you know, with the intention of coming back but Casey couldn't come back with me due to work schedule. Some absolutely amazing country. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, just, just amazing country to fly over. Worth the, the chips right there just to fly over that. This time I'm flying back in solo. Actually, we're gonna land on the glacier here. Uh, another intimidating time to be dropped off on a big chunk of ice by yourself.
once that plane flew away, I knew I was on my own. It was all up to me. This glacier was so rough and so slick, lots of uneven terrain. It was just brutal to try to navigate. I saw some rams on the way in, up on top of this knob. They got so steep I had to stop, turn around, there was no way I could get up on top of there. ran into a couple of nice billies. After searching and searching for a ram, I finally found five all together way at the upper end of this drainage. As close as I could get was about 900 and some yards the first day, so I had to just watch them and then the second day I took all day to sneak up on them. Uh, I was in, they were in plain sight, they knew right where to be and I just had to slowly just take one step at a time and uh, wait and make sure they weren't watching me and sometimes I had to just stop and uh, let them settle down a little bit and then they'd get up and feed and I would, would be able to get a little closer. Uh, but it took three-fourths of a day just to get up to within 450 yards of them. I wasn't entirely sure if any of these rams were legal. They looked nice. The genetics in this unit have a deep drop, but that can get you in trouble because uh, neither one of these rams are full curl. And I, find I had to count rings and at 900 yards that did not work. I could not tell what they were so I, I snuck in uh, to 450 yards with, with not knowing whether I'd be able to shoot or not. Really had no intention actually. I laid in the tent at night looking at pictures on my phone trying to count rings and I just couldn't, couldn't come up with the eighth ring. Uh, but once I got the spotting scope on them at 450 yards, I finally found that eighth ring and was like, holy cow, it's time to, time to make it happen. As you can tell, I was pretty excited. Uh, the 15 days of hunting was a lot of pressure, and I knew this was the, the last chance uh, to make it happen. And it took me an hour to get my heart calmed down before I could pull the trigger, and uh, I was just really jacked up.
buddy Casey for coming along and uh, helping me out on this hunt. Uh, it really means a lot and I uh, really appreciate it. Smash that like button and hit the subscribe. I've got more hunts coming. Thanks.